<laughs> I'm so lonely. Mm. Yeah, my problems. <laughs> poor, poor little, little me. I am alone in my pain. No, you're not. You're not alone in your pain. You're not. I thought I had all these problems and my problems were so bad. But I'm in the top 1% of all the problems. All right. People have a way, 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 way worse than you. All right. And you need that perspective. Like, there's not to be like, oh, you shouldn't complain because uh, people have way worse than you. No, it's like people have a way worse than you. Okay, you're not alone in these lows. You're not alone in the highs, you're not alone in the lows. You need that kind of perspective. Apply for my coaching calls, I have a link in the description. There's a link in the description, it goes to a Calendly page, it's very easy, you fill in some information, and we'd love to see you on one of my calls. Be grateful that you are alive that you're able to experience those horrible, horrible things. You want, secretly, you want those ups and downs because otherwise you will be dead. You will not be alive. You will be dead. You want the highs and the lows. If it was only, if, let's say you would live forever. Just because life is short makes it beautiful. It makes you want to milk the shit out of it, right? Makes you want to make the best out of it. You got to have the highs and the lows and got to embrace it. Embrace the highs, embrace the lows and know that you're not alone. I would try to never ever compromise my authenticity. But there's also, you need to also be relatable. Okay? One, when you're pissing somewhere in a in a hotel on a hotel floor or in some some library or something you're not being relatable right you're, you could say i'm being authentic no you're not you're, you're just being stupid okay you got to understand how to relate with people how to connect with people and once you understand what connects you with one person? You can be authentic, you can be you. You can have your own opinions, your own uh, things that you like, that you dislike, that you want, that you don't want, your preparations, the way you dress yourself, you style yourself, you be authentic with that. But it doesn't take away that you also need to be relatable, okay? So people take this advice of be authentic, live your authentic life, and then what they do is they're not relating to people, they're not being relatable, just being weird, and that's not what I'm asking you to do, just relate to people as well. At times I had this experience that I was not really able to connect with people because I only was trying to be relatable, right? I always was trying to just relate, 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 which there's no authenticity, right? There's no like, this is my opinion, this is what I think about, it's what I value in my life. Instead of, it's kind of, you're always pleasing your, your, your parents, your boss, your friends, your family, your kids or whatever. Like you're always pleasing someone else instead of just living for you, living your life for you. And this is also where it comes down when you're in a bad time, you got to do it for you. You got to do it for yourself, all right? You don't got to do it for pleasing everyone around you because you're not actually helping anyone by pleasing people, right? You're just actually just only trying to be of service to their, to their ego, to, not to them as, as, as a deeper being than just an ego, right? We're not just an ego and in our mind. We're much more than that. And it's about really what I realized was like really being authentic and what this low value is kind of this idea of I need to fit in with everyone, I need to be relatable with everyone and there's an extreme to being relatable as well as much as there's an extreme to be authentic so it's about being that in balance and that is what is beautiful, having that balance 
between authenticity and relatability. How can I connect and help? There's a constructive way to go about it. As a coach, you have to be able to shift a lot, a lot of states, go through a lot of states and, and, and for that to transit, you don't have to push yourself to be like super different. It's kind of just make sense in what kind of environment, with what kind of person you're talking to, right? You will talk very differently to someone from Spain than from someone to uh, Russia or America, right? Making sense of where someone from, what is their background, what, being relatable in that sense. And also showing something of your own culture, maybe, or some, something of your own personality. Being able to understand that you don't have to completely transform into a different person. You can just be still be authentic, but show a different side of you. So it's more about being aware of what needs to happen in every type of scenario. And that comes through experience. So if you want to talk to an experienced coach, go click on the link in the description. There's a link in the description. It's very easy. Just click on the link, go to the Calendly page and you, you can apply for a free, free coaching call. You know, and I love to have a call with you. It's going to be good. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be great. And have a great, great, great time. Love to see you there. Click now the link in the description. And also, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.